You will need ground black pepper, preferably coarse. You will need accent, it is optional. You will need coarse kosher salt. You will need garlic and herb paste. You will need extra light olive oil. You will need fresh herbs, rosemary, thyme, and oregano are really good. You will now drizzle your olive oil lightly over each one of your steaks. Now you'll rub your olive oil in to both sides of your steak, flipping them over. Adding olive oil to your meat will do a few things. It'll allow the seasonings to better adhere and it will allow your meat to stay really, really juicy during the cooking process. At this time, you'll go ahead and add about one fourth teaspoon of kosher salt to each steak right in the middle and only on this one side. You do not want to spread it on the first side and you'll see why in a second. Now you'll go ahead and begin sprinkling on your black pepper. You want to sprinkle it, sprinkle it all over the steak from end to end. If you like heavier pepper, then go to taste. Now you will go in with your accent, sprinkling it pretty liberally. You don't want to be extreme though. Um, so I would say in total, you're going to use about two teaspoons of accent on your steak. That's for both sides. Now you will take a very sharp paring knife and you will stab at the steak in the middle. Um, you don't want to go overboard, but you only want to isolate it to the middle where you had put the salt. This is to tenderize that middle so that it'll be as tender as the edges. There's no need to stab the edges on this type of a steak. Now you will flip over your steaks and we'll go ahead and proceed to seasoning the other side. Now at this time, you'll go ahead and sprinkle your coarse kosher salt all over your steak lightly. Now, if you want it heavier, do it heavier, but in this case, we like it light. Now I like to go ahead and sprinkle on my black pepper generously onto um, all sides of the steak. You can't see the bottle here, but I'm sprinkling on my accent onto this side pretty lightly because there's no need, you know, for an intense amount, but go to taste. Now here I take about a tablespoon of butter and I let it turn brown in the skillet and add my herbs. For a medium steak, fry it on seven minutes on both sides. A few minutes in, go ahead and add in your garlic and herb paste. I neglected to mention that I fried my steak on medium heat at about five uh, for the duration of frying. So on both sides, it was fried at five. went ahead and started making the plates and we're doing some baked potatoes they're loaded with sour cream chives 
Mexican cheddar, and bacon, salt, and pepper, I believe.